Hello again do-it-yourselfers and welcome to another edition of Terry's Tool Tips. In this short video I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks on how to push a fish tape into a length of conduit. I've got about 30 feet of half inch rigid PVC here with three 90 degree bends so sometimes it can be a little bit tricky so let's see if I can help you out with some tips and tricks on how to get this done. So just a word about maintaining your fish tape, like any tool you have, you should keep it in good shape. So you want it free from any kinks and bends, that creates a whole bunch of resistance you don't want. You don't want it to be rusty, so keep it clean and dry, and if it does get rusty, take some emery cloth, polish that rust off, and put a light coating of 3-in-1 oil on it or something like that. So make sure it's nice, clean, dry, straight, check out, I'll leave a, a link in the description to a video I did on how to bend that perfect fish tape hook if you happen to break this hook off, the factory hook. So remember those things before we get started, showing you how to push it down the conduit. And to roll up your tape again, you want to grasp the, the uh, reel, put your thumb into the handle, and you turn the reel, sliding the handle over. That'll push the fish tape back into its case. And put it away in your toolbox till the next time. So here we are with the conduit. This is what we have to do is get a fish tape in from this end to way over there that I'm showing you now. There's a, a rectangular device box on its the horizontal and then the conduit is coming out of the bottom side of it down into the earth and then it backs up, comes all the way around through the sidewalk area here. And it ends up right here where I'm going to be putting a uh, device box with a receptacle on it. But we got to push a fish tape in. So, so the first thing you want to decide is what end you want to feed the wire in and which end you want to push the fish tape from. Now I'm going to push the fish tape in this end because it's going to be a lot easier to shove that tape down. 390s is going to provide a little bit of a fight for us and then we have to do the feeding of the wires in on the other end which is going to be a little more tricky because it's on such an angle and tucked under the coping lip of the pool there. So that's why I chose to do it this way. It'll be a little easier to gently feed those wires in through that sharp corner inside that device box and then just pull straight up from here. I didn't put my device box on at this end for the same reason because it'll be a little more difficult to get that tape in. So let's show you what to do. First thing we want to do is get all set up, get our fish tape pulled out to the right length. And number one tip is some lube rication. So you can use actual wire lube for this if you don't happen to have any. I have not seen a jar of it here in Costa Rica yet. Just a little bit of Dawn dish soap down that pipe. That provides a little lubrication for the metal on the fish tape and it'll help it slide around those 90s a lot easier. All right, I'm ready to get started here. Now I know one of the questions that's going to be asked is, will the dish soap hurt the wires in any way or the insulation? Answer to that is no. If it's good for little ducks, it's good enough for our wires. So let's start by pushing the conduit down. You can feel the 90s. That's where you're going to have your resistance, of course, to getting it in there. First one went nice and easy. Here's the second one. Hmm, that went nice and easy as well. Thank you, dish soap. Now, about 20 feet down the road here, we're going to hit that last 90 going up. And that's where it could get a little tough. So if it is tough, you're just pushing it in a little bit, but jamming it like that, wiggling it so it helps reduce the friction. And I'm there. The fish tape is in that receptacle. So like I said, if you want to, uh, if you do get stuck and you're having trouble getting it around those 90s, just jamming it, jamming it, wiggling it, and that helps wiggle it around that 90 degree bend. So there you go, fish tape's in. We're ready to connect the wires and pull them back in, and we're done. So thanks for watching Terry's Tool Tips. I am Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, and we'll see you in the next one.